So in my last video that I wore this sequin heart kimono, I got a thousand questions on where I got it. It is from Miss Alphabet on Etsy. I will leave the link down below in the description box. So if you want to get one for yourself, you can. I think she still has a few on her site, but it is just so long and flowy and absolutely beautiful. And I am obsessed with it. Hey dolls! So today I am doing the long-awaited enamel pin collection. You guys have requested that I do this video because you have seen my little pin board on various social media accounts and I always get questions about this board and where I got it. Um, I actually did a DIY on this. I made it myself. Um, but I really don't like how it turned out. I am going to be making a different one though eventually sometime hopefully because the back of this one is just too flimsy for me and I'm not a huge fan of it so I will be making a different one. But today we are focusing on all of the pins on the pin board. Um, I think I'm going to start off with just my basic uh, Disneyland or Disney Parks pins. Uh, these are ones that you can get off of eBay or at the Disney Parks. Some of them they don't carry anymore. Okay, so I got both of these guys off of eBay. So you guys know that I went to uh, Disneyland in California last September and it was 2017 so I wanted to get some 2017 pins to take with me. And so there is this Marie one and I believe this one was originally out of like a blind bag or something or like a blind box but I just got that specific pin off of eBay and then this one right here says magic 2017 and it is adorable it has the little Mickey wizard hat on there and then some little hidden Mickeys on it and it does say Disney parks on the bottom of it so there is that one again I don't think that one's sold in the stores anymore because it's not 2017 anymore. And then I have these two uh, Marie ones. These ones, I got this one right here off of eBay as well. And then this one was actually sent to me from a subscriber. But the last time I did go to Disneyland, um, I saw both of these, um, I believe, in the park. Uh, however, this one right here was actually in a set with various other Disney cats like Oliver and um, uh, Lucifer from Cinderella. So there were a few other, it's, it was like a cat collector pack or something like that. Um, but I just ordered just the specific Marie one off of eBay because I didn't necessarily want all of the other cat ones, though I love them. Uh, I didn't want to have to pay extra just to get the one pin that I wanted. And again, this one is still currently in the parks, I believe. Uh, but I did see this one when I went and a subscriber recently sent this one to me. These next three that I'm going to show you are ones that I bought while I was in Disneyland. So again, you can get these off of places like eBay or even Instagram. Some people trade their pins online and it's really neat to kind of buy and collect them from other people who have collected as well. But this is a Lady and the Tramp one. It just looks like so very pretty. I love that one. And then also this one right here it, I had to get. It is so cute. It is Minnie and Daisy and they are taking a selfie in front of the castle and I just thought that this was so adorable and then finally this was the last one that I have from Disney Parks this is my most expensive pin that I think I have like in my whole collection this was around like $20 or so I think and I know if you're like a heavy like avid pin collector $20 seems like nothing because some people will pay literally hundreds of dollars to get the pin of their dreams. This was an anniversary pin of Bambi. It says limited edition of 3,000. So there were only 3,000 made of this pin. I saw it when I was checking out at the Little Green Men store in Tomorrowland and it was just sitting up on the counter. It wasn't on the pin wall or anything. I just saw it. It was displayed on the counter and I just had to have it because it is so beautiful. Bambi is one of my favorite Disney movies and this is just 
so precious. So I did spend a little bit more on this pen, but the fact that it is a bit more rare and unique is really awesome. So there is that one. So now I'm going to get into a uh, shop pins, pins that I have ordered or received from shops online. So first I'm going to talk about Just Peachy. If you guys aren't familiar with Just Peachy, they make adorable, adorable enamel pins. They do Disney themed ones, they do anime themed ones, they do food themed ones. They're so cute. And they also have berets and socks and tote bags and all kinds of other accessories as well, not just pins. I will also leave the links to all of these shops in the description box below. So if you want to check out any of them, go ahead and do so. So the ones I have from Just Peachy, I'm going to show the very first one I got. This is like one of their biggest seller pins that they ever released. It is the Disneyland Castle and they've done another variation of this. I believe that was pastel and then they also did one prior to this, I think, that wasn't glittery, but this is so beautiful. I love this pin so much. And then these two are also from Just Peachy. They are the headbands, like when you are in Disneyland or Disney World or the parks in general, um, they have, you know, mouse ears and headbands and cute little things that you can buy to wear on your head, little accessories. And these are two of my favorite little headbands that I have seen floating around the parks over the years. You guys know I have this headband right here, the big Minnie Mouse bow. So I'll get ahead and show you guys this. It does have two little pin backs on it, but it's glittery and adorable. And then of course you guys know me, I love Marie. So I had to have the Marie headband as well. I have yet to get my hands on the actual Marie headband. Um, so maybe I'll get that on my next trip or maybe I'll order it off of eBay and get it a little bit cheaper. All right, uh, next from Just Peachy, I have two uh, adorable, adorable ones that I'm actually obsessed with these. Uh, the first one right here is a Lady and the Tramp one and it is so cute. I absolutely love this. You can see it's kind of similar to this one. They're both in heart shapes and it's like a starry night scene, but it's just a precious. And the other one that I am obsessed with from them, I currently actually have attached to my little crossbody bag that I got off of eBay, but it is this adorable Aristocats one and it has the all three of the kittens on there, Marie, Toulouse, and Berlioz. And I love the heart-shaped cameo. You guys know I am obsessed with those. I have two tattoos that are the cameo shape, hearts, heart-shaped cameos, and I absolutely love it. And I think it just accents this bag so cutely. And before I get on into any more of this, I did want to mention that if you are planning on putting um, pins on your bags or your clothing or anything like that, please, please, please invest in locking pin bags. Packs. You can get them in like packs off of eBay for a super affordable price and especially if you are a park goer or you plan on taking uh, your pins, putting them on your bag or something and going out um, to avoid anyone stealing them or maybe them being kind of ripped off when maybe you get out of the car or just something random. The locking pin backs help it so that the pin just stays secure to whatever it is pushed into. I had my back backpack, my backpack, blah, 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 I can't speak. I had my backpack with me when I went to Disneyland and all of my pins that were on it had locking backs. And I'm so happy I did that because when you're getting on and off of the rides and you're sitting down to eat food and then you stand up really fast, sometimes your pins snag or get caught on the chairs or clothing or whatever. And you don't want to lose these beautiful pins, especially when a lot of these are so unique and you can't necessarily replace them. So definitely invest in some locking backs for your pins. You will not regret it, but this pin is so cute and I love how it looks on this little crossbody bag. And then I also have these two right here. This one is Disney themed. This one's not. Um, this one is a little honey pot. They did these in two different colors. I believe they did a gold one and a purple one. I almost just dropped it, but it is so precious. 
And then this one right here, they also did. They did a nighttime version and a daytime version. And I got the daytime version. And it just says, always looking up. And it's just a picture of the sky. And then the nighttime version is black and gold. And then it has like stars and the moon and stuff like that in the background, which is really, really cute. Two more from Just Peachy. Uh, these are Animal Crossing themed pins. You guys know I love Animal Crossing New Leaf for my Nintendo 3DS XL. Obsessed with it. So here is Reese and Cyrus. They are so sassy and so cute. I absolutely love them. And then this one right here is the Brewster's Coffee, kind of done as a knockoff Starbucks logo, which I think is so cute and creative. So very, very cute. Absolutely love this one as well. So those are my little Animal Crossing ones from Just Peachy. And I believe those are all my Just Peachy pins. I could be mistaken. I could have some like hoarded away somewhere, but I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Um, next, we are going to go... Oh, 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 oh. I totally forgot to show you guys this one. This is just a Disneyland Parks pin. Um, I got it off of eBay. It is just a giant Daisy Duck bow. I totally forgot to show you guys this one, but I did get it off of eBay, and it is from the parks. I didn't see it the last time I was in the parks, but I could be totally mistaken, but I did get this one off of eBay, and it is a Disney, a legit Disney one. Let me go ahead and show you guys the pastel pixie ones I got. I just did my second pastel pixie unboxing. Uh, the first pin that I got from them you guys might recognize. This was in their Menhara themed kawaii box. It is just a really, really, really tiny little syringe. So cute. And then they just sent this one in their Magical Girl themed kawaii box, which is so cute. It has a little wand on there and some wings. And I just love the pastel colors of it, especially this bow at the bottom. It is so precious and so cute. So there's those two from Pastel Pixie. Again, everything will be linked below. Next up, we have this one from Sugar Bones. This is so cute. It is a Marie themed and it says, ladies do not start fights, but they can finish them. And then it has her classic pink bow right there. And this pin is fairly big. I actually really love this so much. I'm afraid to like put this on any of my jackets or my bags or anything because it's so just unique and different and it might be a little bit harder to replace. I'm not sure if they're still carrying this one but I absolutely do love it and so it is on my little pin board for now. A lot of the times what I like to do when I find a pin that I absolutely love that is from shops like this I will buy two of them <laughs> just so I have one that I can kind of put up on my wall and have as a backup and then I have another one that I can use like on my bags and my clothes and everything. So if I lose it, it's not a huge loss because I do still have another one that could replace it. I don't know. That's just sometimes what I like to do um, with these little pin shops like this. Next up, we have some from Bobblesaurus on Instagram. Uh, these were sent to me around Easter time, so they are kind of Easter themed. We have a little bunny right here, which is so cute. It's in like a fairy K sweater, which is adorable with a little bow. I absolutely love like the glitter detail on pins. I think it is so pretty. So there is that one. And then we have this little cat with some bunny ears on. And it is adorable as well with a little bow tied to it. So cute. Adorably themed for Easter. And then there are these two unicorn ones that they had also sent me. You guys might remember seeing posts of these on my Instagram. But this one has a unicorn in a spaceship. And it says, Believe. Oops, sorry. I kind of dropped it um but it just says believe and again it has like glitter detail and it is so cute I love the pastel colors and then there is just this little unicorn head right here that is pink and purple these are some of my favorite colors you guys know that so I do like this one this next pin is from Ohana Pins and Prints. I just dropped it. Instagram, Ohana Pins and Prints. And as soon as you guys see this, you are going to know exactly why I had to have it. I mean, come on. Look at this. Ah, this pin is the epitome of who I am. It has Marie sitting on a delicious pink macaron. 
you guys know I've said this a thousand times in my videos but in case you're new um, I work at a bakery that makes macarons every day so I make macarons I help make the macarons and so the fact that it has Marie which is my favorite Disney character and uh, the macaron on there is just so so cute and this pin is the biggest one in my collection I'll show you um, comparing it to the sugar bone pin it's bigger than that one and comparing it to um, just this classic Disney one it is much bigger and then like the little headband one from just peachy and just another classic Disney one that is it is a big pin and I absolutely love this I do have two of these so I have one attached to one of my bags right now and then I have this one that is just gonna stay on my pin board and never get moved or touched or messed with because I don't want to lose it because I love this pin so 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 much so again that one's from Ohana pins and prints on Instagram it will be linked below next I have two more Marie ones from another Instagram shop and this was from peachy keen not to be confused with just peachy this is from peachy keen and I will leave the link for them down below as well but these are two adorable Marie ones this one right here she is in the rose gold spirit jersey that came out and this one right here she's just in a little denim jacket and in both of them you can see she has adorable little Minnie Mouse ears and her bow and these were just too cute not to get so I got these from Peachy Keen the last shop that I have to talk to you guys about is Nikki lipstick you guys know and are very familiar with the pink drink from Starbucks if you have no idea what I'm talking about where have you been Nikki lipstick is the original creator inventor orderer <laughs> of the Starbucks pink drink it was because of her that the whole drink thing exploded and became a big deal and you guys probably know that because when I first started getting the pink drink and everything I'd always tag her and say that she needed to get proper credit for this and all of that and photos of like my pink drinks that I would get were on like these online uh, forums and news sites and it was really really cool but I feel like she needs more credit for creating this huge phenomenon that has been going on and is still going on. But she had created and designed these pink drink enamel pins when it was first taking off before it was officially on the Starbucks menu. And I had to get my hands on one of these to support my girl. The original post that started it all was on her Instagram page and she deserves a lot more credit. If anything, she deserves compensation or recognition or something of some sort, but I had to get this pin to show my support and appreciation for her. So there is that. You can't get these anymore, I don't think. I think they sold out so fast and I don't know if they ever made them again, but definitely check out Nikki Lipstick. She is the one who invented the pink drink and she is amazing. Okay, and lastly, um, I just have this random Pusheen pin. I got this in a three pack when I got Pusheen box uh, last year or so. And there was one with a donut, one with a cookie, and one with a piece of pizza in their mouth. I gave the other two away to friends, family, etc. But I do still have this little donut one. I think it is so cute. So this was originally from Pusheen box. Um, so you can get your own pushing box, but I think they do have these you can get pushing pins at like Hot Topic or on eBay or Box Lunch I think has some too um, And speaking of Box Lunch that leads us to our very last and final pins da -da 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 -da. I have these two that someone had actually sent to me. They came in a pack um, but we have Bambi and Thumper, and these are from Box Lunch originally. But again, someone did send me these in the mail, in a little Prezi mail package. So I do have these guys. So those are from Box Lunch. I don't know if they still have them anymore on the website, but 
I love them nonetheless, and you can probably find them on eBay. Next up, you guys may remember this pastel denim jacket from my Forever 21 haul. I will leave it right here on the screen if you want to check that video out. Um, it was like a little try on haul, but I got these were in a three pack and I got these at box lunch and it is all three of the Aristocat cats. Again, Marie, Toulouse, and Berlioz. And I just put them in a little line on the pocket of the jacket. So when it's worn, they're just sitting right here. And it is so, so, so cute. So again, those all came in a pack from Box Lunch. And again, I think people do buy them and resell them on like eBay and stuff. So if they are all sold out, you can find them places like that. And obviously people who do pin trading on like uh, Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you can definitely check sites like that as well in search for them. And the last pin to wrap up this video is also from Box Lunch. They just recently released this one. I'm not sure if they still have it or not, but I had to have this one. It is gorgeous. It is Duchess and Marie from the Aristocats. This pin just reminded me so much of my mama and me, so I had to get it, of course. People are buying these box lunch pins like this one for like $7 off of the website and then reselling them on eBay for like $50. So if you can snag these pins when they first release on the actual box lunch website, um, I definitely advise doing that because trying to find them elsewhere after they're sold out and long gone is getting, is, is really expensive. Anyway, that is it for my enamel pin collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section down below what your favorite pin is that I showed in this video. And if you've heard of any of these pin shops and which one's your favorite, or if you guys have a favorite pin shop that I did not mention that specializes in like Disney fantasy pins or just cute, adorable enamel pins in general, please, please, please share their links and their names in the comments section down below so that anyone and everyone can go check them out and give them a look-see. And if you yourself own a pin shop, uh, please, please share down below as well. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!